Hello, my name is Simon Doran. I'm Director of Member Services at Chartered Accountants Ireland. This is your institute, but in order for us to be relevant to you, it's vital that we have information about you and your work interests. The easy way to provide us with this information is on my account. We don't just want your basic contact details because then you remain the invisible man or woman to us. So what's in it for you? Accountancy roles have changed dramatically over the last few decades and you are doing tasks and, and filling functions that you might never have expected to do so. We need to know about these in order to deliver targeted services to you. So the other benefits are, if we have sufficient information about you, we'll be able to cut down on excess communication and better still, we'll be able to fulfill the strategic ambition of the Institute, which is to lower subscription costs. So now Lorna Daly, our website manager, will take you through what you have to do. Firstly, log into the site as you normally would using the site login and then select my account from the home page. Here you will be brought through to the information that's stored for you on the Chartered Accountants Ireland databases, your home address and your firm address, your employment details. You can either update the information by clicking on edit on this screen or moving to the profile tab and clicking edit from there. Here I'm going to update my email account. So I select edit and I move to my preferred email address and scroll to the bottom of the page to submit changes. You will notice on this page there's also the option to specify a different postal address, home or work. And in addition, you can also update your employment status. There is information about the various employment statuses and what they mean We're using the I button next to employment status. If you wish to update your firm details, go back to your profile summary and from here select employment details edit. I can either create a new employer, I can edit an existing employer using the default form that's on the screen and I can remove the existing employer using the remove from profile button which is at the bottom of the page. In this instance I'm going to add a new employer leaving the existing employer in place. So I get a blank form and I put in my company name And any other contact details available including my firm phone, phone and my firm email address. Now this may be my primary firm, i.e. the firm that I spend most of my time working in. So I'm going to select primary firm here and that will automatically remove the primary firm tag from the XYZ firm. I now submit my change request and notice that the number of change requests pending will move from 12 to 13. The change requests will then be processed by the staff within Chartered Accountants Ireland. If any of the change requests require CARB approval, it may take a little longer. However, you, you can stay updated by checking this uh, report anytime and the number of change requests pending will drop as the changes are processed. In the My Account area, select the second tab which is Employment Interests. Here you'll see the graph shows that we have not filled in any of the employment interests at all. So first of all I'll select Industry Sector. And here you'll see a range of industry sectors that you could have an interest in. So for instance if you were working in a pharmaceutical manufacturer, you'd select Manufacturing and Engineering plus Pharmaceutical. Possibly you could put in Healthcare as well. Select save and this brings you back to the employment interest table. Here you can see now your profile has started to be complete and this will immediately um, remove the alert the next time you log in to the website. But if I am put in employer description, I can select what type of business I am involved in. So let's say it's multinational foreign. Again, I could have several selected um, employer descriptions here. So I save that. And then functions and responsibilities. There are many functions and responsibilities, so scroll down to see the full breadth of possible responsibilities. This reflects the fact that one job could encompass many different responsibilities. 
So I select a couple here and scroll to the bottom of the page to save. Finally, our job descriptions range is quite short, but select whichever job description most closely aligns itself to your own job description. So again, there could be a couple here. Now you can see your profile or my profile is 100% complete. And as I said before, the alert to remind you to fill in your employment interests will have been removed the next time you log into the site. So now you know how very easy it is to complete my account and how critical it is for your institute that we have your information. So don't be invisible to us any further. And to encourage you, we're offering a draw for an iPad, in fact, three iPads between now and Christmas for all those who fully update their details. So please go to my account now, fully update your details. You're in with a chance to win an iPad, but you're giving your institute the information we absolutely need in order to be relevant to you. Thank you.